want a cocktail each of your choice, or you can make one up, like what you think we would like. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Stitch me up, that's all wrong. You no, know, um, you look like the wolf hiding in um, the bed, big bad wolf. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. I didn't end up vlogging yesterday just because there was nothing really to vlog about. Like, as I said, it's been really boring, isolating. Like, we haven't been doing anything really. Like, we've just been relaxing. Oh my god, that noise. One thing I don't miss about this car. Okay. I'm not going to hit anything. Um, yeah, so we didn't really do anything yesterday. We were just at home. And then at 6 o'clock, or well, 6.30 actually, we went to the gym. I met Riley at the gym. And then after that, we went and got a spray tan. And then we came home basically to sleep. And now I'm up. I'm about to go, it's actually eight o'clock at the moment. I'm about to go and get, go to the dentist to get a little checkup and clean. I just like my dentist here and like we just, every time I come here, I just tee it up. Like every six months or whatever, I come and get my teeth checked. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that now, get it over with. Riley and I are going to Blow Bar Lane, which I've never been to before. It's basically like a cocktail and hair salon um, where you can go and get blow waves and like a drink and a cheese platter. So we're going to go do that today um, at like 10.30 while the boys go get their haircuts. And then um, we're going to go check into a hotel called the Marriott. Um, on the Gold Coast because we didn't have our full stay at Hayman so we thought we may as well um, book somewhere here. Yeah, we were meant to go um, a couple days ago but obviously lockdown happened and we had to isolate so we weren't able to so fortunately we were able to reschedule to staying tonight and tomorrow night and then Thursday night we might go to Top Golf because it's our last night here. By the way, we still haven't gotten accepted to go to Perth. Like, we obviously had to apply for an exemption. Even though we're returning residents, like, we have to apply because the borders are closed. But, like, should I be alarmed that they haven't, like, accepted our application in, like, two days? I might have to call them up if it hasn't been accepted by tomorrow because, like, otherwise we can't go. We're just waiting on that. But hopefully, like I said, they're going to accept ASAP. Um, and mum was going to even let like, leave applying to last minute. So thank God she did it two days ago. Um, so yeah, that's the plans for today. I'm so tired. Oh yeah, we're also going to Omero's. I think that's how you say it. Omero's Seafood Restaurant in Marina Mirage for lunch, which will be nice. Um, and yeah, I'm just hoping and praying for good weather. I think the sun's coming through. The clouds just need to go away, but today and tomorrow or I think tomorrow especially is meant to be really nice weather here on the Gold Coast I think it's so funny because in Perth the weather is like perfect not a cloud in the sky and it's like 35 degrees like every day in Perth and we've just like come to rain here in Queensland <laughs> oh you almost just had a car accident I'm gonna go and I will probably chat to you guys when we get to blow bar hey guys just finished well not just finished but Finish at the dentist, everything's all good. Just at Riley's house picking her up now and we're gonna go to Below Bar Lane. Didn't do my hair, obviously. Um, what's the best, she's not even finished. Oh yeah, I haven't shown you my new bag. How's the lighting? How gorgeous is it? I actually ordered it to have for my birthday because I had that pink dress and I thought this would look really cute with it but it didn't come in time but it's still really cute it's a medium sized bag they're famous for their like mini bags but this is the medium and there's an even bigger version of this bag so yeah I'm obsessed with it although it does scratch pretty easily Riley's calling me hello what are you wearing 
um, like short sneakers, um, that throw over white long sleeve top and then like bikinis underneath. They're yeah, not dressed up. Well, kind of. That's not dressed up though. Isn't it? No, I'm literally in heels and a funny dress. I'll oh. be another 15. 15 minutes? Or 10, yeah. Really? You told me to wear this. You literally told me to wear the green dress. Yeah, wear the green dress, but maybe just wear your Yeezys. Surely. Say hi. <gasps> hi. Yeah, it's like, I think dress up at night time. I don't feel like daytime you need to dress up. I look dressy. No, you don't. You're thinking I'm hating Luke walking around. Well, uh, Jazz, you do look nice, but it's a different kind of nice than what I was wearing. Yeah. It's like lunch nice. You know? She's in, boys. I can't believe you got changed. I reckon that dress was No, fine. you stitched me up. You literally told me to wear that and you were up in sneakers and shorts. That's all wrong. <gasps> oh. Like definition of all wrong. Oh, it's fine. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. We've just checked into the Marriott and I'll show you guys our room. Not sure why the TV's on, that's a bit weird. This is the bathroom. Bit cute. Here's my bag. I'm literally obsessed with it. And we've got our bath. Shower. This is the room. It's a bit plain, but nice. And then, oh, that um, I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Where's the? Oh yeah, here. This is our view. Oh my god, the pool. So we got the ocean. Ocean view? Oh my god, it's amazing! And that's the pool we're about to go in. Holy shit, there's actually like three pools. Look, one, two, three, and apparently there's actually fish right there and you can snorkel. How nice does that look? Kind of reminds me of um, Carlisle, you know the view? Yeah. So we'll be there in literally two minutes. So I didn't bring my vlog camera to dinner because I took my little pink bag so obviously we wouldn't be able to fit it in. But we went to Etsu, which was a Japanese restaurant in Mermaid, and it was really nice. If you love Japanese, you will love it. We had like a bunch of sushi. What else did we have? Sushi, you had Karaji chicken. Riley had like eggplant. I think she had sushi as well, and she doesn't usually eat sushi, and she said she really liked it. This is the view. That's what it looks like at night. And then the beach. We're about to hop into bed, maybe watch a movie. But we'll be literally at the pool all day tomorrow. We hired a cabana. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow as well. Good morning, guys. Oh my god, it's so bright. Oh my god, even out here. <laughs> I can't keep my eyes open. How gorgeous is the weather today? Oh my god. We like I said last night, we booked a cabana because all we've wanted is just to sit by the pool in the sun. But unfortunately, that hasn't been able to happen because of the weather in Hayman. Um, and yeah, so that is what we're doing today and we're so excited. Um, we're gonna go downstairs and have like a buffet brekkie. We were gonna go to like another little cute little cafe nearby, but we just thought we just may as well just stay here all day. So yeah, that's the plan. I'll take my vlog camera down there because I'll do a little tour. It is literally massive. There's like a cave and water slides for like kids. Um, but yeah, there's like three massive pools um, here. It's definitely really underrated. I feel like I've never really seen anyone stay here. Um, but yeah, I only really know of this place because mum's boyfriend works here. So 
he was like, dude, you need to come stay here. So, oh, I've got an eyelash on my face. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm wearing glasses. This is like a ribbed little bralette. It's really cute. And then these are literally like my favorite pants. They're from a Verge Girl, but they're both like a, like a thick woolen knitted material. So, yeah. How freaking cute is this bag? Like, I'm literally wearing it with everything and unintentionally matching. Like, lavender and bubblegum pink. I'm obsessed. It doesn't fit much in it. I'm actually gonna show you what it fits. <laughs> like, it doesn't fit my phone. Let's just move this. Okay. Okay, this is what can fit into it. My card holder, lip gloss, lip balm, is that focusing? Yep. Parking ticket, mask and a hair tie. Like it doesn't fit my phone in it because I've got the Max. But it's still a cute size, like I always hold my phone anyways. I wouldn't be able to put my camera in it, but um, yeah, the smaller one, like the even smaller one is even more unpractical because you couldn't even fit like your cards in it. But this is, like I said, the medium size one and there's an even bigger one, which I think would fit your phone, but I like small bags. Okay, we're good to go. Riley's having a bit of a shoot. This is our cabana for today. And this is the pool. I feel like the Marriott is so underrated. Honestly, it's so beautiful. There's this pool. Peter. Um, and then there's like pools at the back. So like this. And then there's like a water side as well. Around there, and there's like a cave, but we'll go on there later. So freaking pretty. Thanks. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Yum. It actually tastes like Plastic. um that's good. Mm. That's actually like a sushi. I've come down looking like this. Because my head's hot. Do you like it? It's cool. You need to get off, dude. I don't know who you are. That's fine. Seat help. I don't have a hat and I don't want to wear that. Oh, this is cooler than that, dude. Also, I forgot you know, my other... You look like the wolf hiding in um, the bed, big bad wolf hiding from, what's his name? <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> You're literally the wolf in the bed. Well, the I forgot my other symbols, so that's good. I've only got these in brown. Yeah. I was going to say, you could wear, but I won't have anything that'll fit you. Unless you wore like ones that tie on the side. Oh my god, the bird. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Imagine if it jumped on here. Hey little guy. Oh my god. Surely not. We want a cocktail each yep. of your choice, or you can make one up. Yep. Just like what you think we would like. So, based on like what you can see, you have to give <laughs> each of us a cocktail. Anything. Three different cocktails? Yes. Yeah, all oh. different. Uh, We're all cocktail. different people. All right, fantastic. So I think we already had two today. Yeah, well. so we'll, we'll just pay for them. It's fine. Okay. Well, but like, it can be rogue. It can be on menu. It can be whatever you want. You get two more with your package, so two of them will be covered with the package. Okay. okay. The whole day. Uh, and then the other two will come with you. Perfect. Okay. We'll find out. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. I swear to God. a thing. Look what we just came up to the room to. How cute. Some treats. And a bottle of wine. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. So it is now. Oh my god, I'm literally resting the camera. That's not a good idea. Um, it is what's today, today, Thursday. I swear, when I'm on holidays or I'm not in routine at home, I don't know what day it is. I need to put lip balm on. Um, so yeah, we're just checking out of the Marriott now. We're gonna go get some breakfast. We might go to like Bam Bam. Bakehouse in Mermaid or The Little Mermaid. They're two really nice little cute cafe breakfast spots. So we're going to go there, meet Riley there. We're just checking out. I've already packed all my stuff because I take like two seconds. Peter, on the other hand, 
I'm not sure why boys just take so long, but yeah, he's still packing up his stuff. Um, and then we'll go there and then we'll probably just go home, unpack. I might just do like a big load of washing so I don't have to do it when I get home. So I have like a clean suitcase to go home to. Um, and then we're probably going to have our last dinner at mum's and then we're going to meet everyone, including some of my friends here. I think some of Riley's friends have just got a whole group of us going to Top Golf because we've never been every single time we come here. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was, yeah, it was here when I still lived here and I just never went. Um, and I always said like, let's go, let's go. And then like plans fell through. So we've never been to Top Golf. Um, yeah, every single time we come here, we're like, okay, let's go Top Golf. And it never happens. So we're definitely going tonight. I think we're going at like 8.30 or 9 o'clock just for like a last shindig, I guess, before we leave tomorrow. We got approved for our flight exemption. We have to get tested at the airport. I think when we get to Perth, there's like a whole testing station. So we're going to get tested for COVID and then um, then we've just got to go straight home. We're just going to take an Uber um, and self-isolate at home for another 14 days, which will be fun. Um, to be honest, I'm actually not that phased. Like last time it was fine. Like I am so freaking busy. I've got so much to do when I get home anyways. Um, I'm just not going to be able to obviously go to my appointments and stuff like that. But like they can obviously be pushed back. I'm not fussed about that. Um, so yeah, another two weeks of self-quarantine. I'm going to definitely make more of an effort to do more home workouts and have some sort of workout routine. I'm going to do lots of Pilates. I think I might sign back up to the Les Mills on demand because I have a barbell set that I can do like body pump with. So I might, yeah, sign back up to that. I'm pretty sure they just have like free trials. So yeah, definitely get onto the free trial before you start paying for it. So that's what I did last time and I just cancelled before I had to pay. So yeah, there's a little life update. Um, yeah, we're gonna go get a coffee now and then check out and then go to breakfast. Okay, we're back home from Bam Bam now. I didn't vlog because it was really busy, but I'm gonna insert some photos of our breakfast. I had the eggs Benny and it was so huge, like, I swear they mashed up like three whole avocados and put it on the side of my plate. It was so good. And then we also got like almond and Snickers croissants. Holy shit. Amazing. Would recommend if you're on the Gold Coast or if you're visiting. Um, I also did do some online shopping a couple days ago and I'm actually very surprised that it did arrive because I ordered it just before lockdown. Um, so I was like, oh shit, mom's just gonna have to like post it to my house. I didn't think it would come on time, but it did. So I made an order through Adore Beauty and I also got a package from Bondi Sands as well. I'll show you guys what I got. So I have been seeing so many people rave about this brand called The Ordinary Skincare. It's quite an affordable skincare brand. Um, I think it was originated in the UK or something. So. Yeah, I ordered um, a bunch of The Ordinary. Like these are probably all under like $15 each, which is amazing for like skincare. Um, I got some hyaluronic acid drops. I got some, um, I just pretty much went on like the most recommended or like most popular from The Ordinary. Um, I'm gonna have to research how um, or when. Oh, there's instructions on the back. I'm sure I'll figure it out. But yeah, I'll do some research. So I got some retinol because I needed some more. Um, some... I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Niacinamide. Niacinamide and zinc. Um, how come I've got two? Okay, I've got two of them. Um, hyaluronic acid and this is just a facial moisturizer because I just wanted to try another one. And I mainly went on to get some of this because Riley's been raving about it and so does her friend Nikki when um, she stayed with us over New Year's. So I decided to pick one up. I'm pretty sure I do have this at home somewhere. Like I've used this before and I remember really liking it. It's like a very, very full coverage CC cream. And it's obviously got SPF in it as well. So really good for like um, just daily use. I got this shade medium tan. I'll wear it tonight or tomorrow and I'll let you guys know. But that's what it is. Um, so yeah, I do have this somewhere at home, but it's probably really old and probably out of date. So I just thought I'd grab a new one. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. And then I just got, where's that free sample? I feel like I got a free, oh yeah, here. This little, oh, it's on the floor. 
And then this little hair food hair mask, I think. Yeah, as a free sample. So that's what I got from Adore Beauty. And then this is from Bondi Sands. They sent it to me here because they just launched it. I think it's like a transparent tan. Hold on, let me just open it up. Ooh. Okay, what's in here? Okay, this is a bit cool. All right. Okay, these are the products. So it is their new transparent tan, self tanning sleep mask. Oh my God, is this for your face? I feel like that is for your face. It's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. And this is a self tan foaming water in dark. I'm definitely gonna give these a go and I'll let you know how they go. I've already got like a spray tan on at the moment. So whenever I scrub this off, I'll give this a go. But thank you so much. I'm gonna have to um, do this. This is so weird. I'm gonna do that now. Let's see what it is. You're joining hundreds of guests across the globe for the reveal of our latest product innovation. The first of its kind within the self-tanning category. Hold on. Before I announce what this range is, I want to share a bit about how we got here and what sparked this innovation. That is so Are you all travelling to Perth with us today? Um, I just wanted to let you know we have very limited catering on board. So we don't have our regular meals. If you would like to go and purchase extra food or snacks, we literally just have a snack and water and juice, unfortunately. So I just wanted to prepare you all if you'd like to. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but we have to wear masks in Brisbane. Um, we're just about to fly to Perth. Um, I'm about to go. It's 40 a on the screen. Oh, does it? Um, she just said that there's going to be limited food on the aircraft, so if you're hungry, buy something. She literally just said that. The air hostess, she came out and said, this flight has less food than normal. <laughs> Basically, if you want food, go get it. No, I'm not hungry. All right. Good morning guys, this is what I came home to. I actually opened a few that I needed to open, just some jazz handmade returns and stuff, but the only thing I have opened is this one, which is from Esme, which is super cute. They sent me a little hamper for working with them last year. Thank you so much. I already posted on my Instagram, but how freaking thoughtful. Um, obviously, they said that last year, but I wasn't here. Um, but yeah, I'll open everything else up after I finish breakfast. I'm really excited to see what's in this one, actually. I might open it up. <laughs> how funny. I think I must have tagged Chang's, which is like a... It's like a condiments. Oh, they've got noodles and stuff like that. You've probably seen them in the supermarket, to be honest. Um, yeah, they they reached out to me. They were like, oh my God, we'd love to send you some stuff. So I said yes and gave them my address. But I'm going to open this one. Hold on. So cool. Hey, Jazz. Enjoy new Gymshark's. Studio collection, hope you love. How cool, I love this color. So pretty, thank you so much. That's cool. It's like a body, like a unitard. That's really cool, I don't have any of them. The happiness planner, oh my God, I'm obsessed. What's, who's this from? Is this also from Gymshark? That's really cool. Open this up. Look at this planner. Oh my god, I love this. That is so thoughtful. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if that was Spin and Co or um, Gymshark, but we can't really see that well. Let me move the camera over here. Yeah, this is the planner. I feel like, like I said, I've got so many planners, but this one's really cool. 
Wow. Things I will do for my happiness, what I will focus on this month. Um, the brand is, I'm guessing, the Happiness Planner. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the brand. How gorgeous. And then my Roadmap tra to Transformation, which is another little cool book. I'll have to read through that later. How awesome is that little... Oh, and another one. This is a self-awareness journal. Wow. That's really cool. I'm definitely, after I finish breakfast and stuff, I'm going to pick a planner to use this year and write all of my goals down and what I'm, like, needing to remember this year. And just, yeah, I'm going to definitely put these to good use. So thank you so much, Spin and Co and Gymshark. I'll show you the colors a little bit better here. But yeah, how freaking cool is this little PR gift? How freaking generous. I'm lost for words. Thank you so much. We actually needed another chopping board, like a wooden chopping board. So this couldn't have come at a better time. That knife looks dangerous, but I'm sure we'll put it to good use. But yeah, this is the sources that I was talking about in my story when they reached out to me. I'm pretty sure I used this in one of my recipes. I used it in my rice paper rolls as well, but you can use them for obviously any meal. Oyster sauce, these are actually quite good macros. Like they're very like low in cal for the sauces. So for example, for one serving is only 85 kilojoules, which is like, what's that? 20 calories or something like that. And they all seem to be sort of keto friendly as well, like low carb. So 2.7 grams of carbs for that one. And then this one is I think four, yeah, four grams of carbs. So yeah, these sauces are really good. I'm excited to try. Actually, I've tried this before. Mum used to make salads with this and then she used to put these like um, noodles on top of the salad just to give it a bit of crunch and they're so good even like on its own but like you're meant to put it in with like salads and stir fries and stuff like that so yeah I really love these what are the macros on these ones you only really put a sprinkle yeah so these are quite carby but you only really put like half a handful and not even just on top just to give your meals a bit of a crunch but I'm excited these are the cognac noodles that um I used to have all the time. These ones are keto friendly. These ones are cheaper than the Slendia ones. These are like $2 or sometimes they go on sale for even less. But yeah, these ones are literally the exact same as the Slendia cognac noodles. So these ones um, are really low cal and low carb or no carb. Um, as for all the rest, I haven't actually really tried them, but Peter loves noodles, so I'm sure he would love. And I've always wanted one of these. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for. I'm not really much of a dumplings type person but I really want to experiment with it but let me know what you make in these if you have one anyway I just want to thank the team at Chains for hooking me up what a nice little surprise okay I'm going to continue my little haul I ordered these just before I left I was hoping they would come before but they didn't so they're the Oswego's they're the style of shoe that I love I wear them to the gym or I just wear them casually they're so comfy if you have wide feet um, and they look like Yeezys so had to get the chocolate brown um, I was gonna set you guys up on a tripod but I just thought I would smash it out and open them one by one just like this so let's start off with this one first package is from midnight blends creamy chai latte yum no added sugar and low carb how cute is this little gift so cute this is the next package i'm pretty sure i received this before i left but i actually did try out this mousse and it was quite nice it wasn't as dark as when i do my bondi sands but um it's just hard because it is transparent so you can't actually see when it goes on but it was still a really nice natural tan and i guess you can like build it up with the drops like day to day mix it in with your moisturizer or i didn't receive this so this is the gradual tanning lotion which i'm going to try as well but yeah that's the mousse and that's just like a spray bottle so you can just i've actually used that before to touch up a tan um, but yeah, it's actually a really nice color. So thank you for sending some more of them. I need to find my um, tan eraser because look at my hand. It's fucked. <laughs> I think I've got a Bondi Sands one somewhere. So I'm going to do that tonight. But thank you so much, Tanologist. Okay, this was in this package from a small business called Saint and Soul. Thank you so much. I just read your little message. How cute is this skirt? I don't actually own like a flowy white maxi skirt. But this one's really cute. We're not really showing 
showing it the best. And then this really gorgeous emerald, it's like a tie up long sleeve top. Where is it? Here we go. Really cute. These will look so cute together. So thank you so much for thinking of me. I'll leave all of their, um, all of these companies down below if you wanted to refer back to them. Okay, this is in the next package from ColourPop. See what I mean about like constant collections? Wine and only palette. We've got some, I actually had a look in one of these. Oh yeah, this one is popping out. It's like really nice burgundy colors. Oh my God, my tan on my hand is horrendous. Another eyeshadow, like honestly, cheek. And then this is like a shimmering, shimmering dry oil. That sounds interesting. I might have to have a look at that. But yeah, this is new from ColourPop. So thanks, guys. Okay, next package is from Morphe Brushes. They've sent me some eyelashes, some tweezers, which I actually need some more of because I can't find my other pair. Lash primer, some mascara, and then a lash curler as well. I think they give me a discount code usually. Oh, yeah. Glam Fam 851 on Morphe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So thanks guys. And then in that parcel were these two soy candles. I don't actually have a mail on, which is super cute. I love them. I have so many of these around my house from many different brands. So thank you so much for thinking of me. They smell incredible. And I love this little practice self love um, little card that you've put in. So thank you so much for thinking of me. Oh my gosh, this parcel. I always put in so much effort in their PR parcel. So this is Pat McGrath makeup. Oh my God, I love this concept. So this is, I think they're just like little sets. So this is called Rose Desire and it's got a little, um, oh my God, it's got a little like glitter pot, some like clear lip gloss and then like maybe a lip crayon or lip liner. And they've just got them in a couple different colors. Blood One, oh my God, cool. That is so freaking cool. Thank you so much for sending them. I think this one's for the eyes. So this might be like a paint pot and then like an eyeshadow and then like an eyeliner. But how cool is their packaging? I'm obsessed. So thank you so much, Pat McGrath, for thinking of me. I love. Okay, so I made a little goal for myself while I'm in isolation for the next two weeks to completely declutter and tidy a couple rooms in my house. This being one of them. This is my office where I pack orders, etc. I want to organize my jewelry a bit better. Like, look at that. <laughs> like, I mean, it works, but also like it doesn't. Like, it just looks like untidy. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, over the next two weeks, I'm gonna completely transform this room. So this is the before. I'll show you guys from this angle. Like it's a hot mess. Okay, second room I wanna, it's not too bad, but it's just, it actually was a lot worse. I did clean this room up before we left, um, before uh, the last drop. So yeah, this is just all like bits and pieces. So I wanna clean that up. That's just all pre-made boxes. And then obviously I'm, I'll clean that bathroom, but that's really easy to do. I just had to film a few things before I left, but the bathroom's okay. I still want to like do it up. Toilet's fine. And then this is the main room that I always seem to, this is just like my throw room. Like I just throw all my new shit here and then I just forget about it for weeks. And then like, I just, yeah, it just ends up like this. So. That is my, I'm actually gonna show you behind the door because I thought I could hide it, but really, that's behind the door. It's just clothes upon clothes. I'm gonna go through all my clothes that I know I'm not gonna wear. Um, I'm gonna just take them when I can to like Salvation Army or something. This is my makeup station. It's actually so filthy. I need to clean my brushes, so I might do that today. Um, but yeah, look at the floor. Like it's just a disaster. A hot mess so like look at that palette <laughs> I didn't even notice that was like that um, I'm gonna put some cute stuff on these little shelves like I've just already made well, ages ago this like my Esme shelf I'm gonna make like little shelves all nice I need to put my wig somewhere I don't even know if I want that there to be honest I don't even know why it's there take that off I'm gonna rearrange all of this 
So I just don't feel like that's practical. Like I don't even use that makeup. So I might put that away and like make use of these cubes and put other stuff in there. And then as for this, like I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Like I've got makeup, I've got sunglasses, I've got lipsticks, I've got a Gucci bag. Like up there is kind of cute, it's a bit simple. But yeah, like what's going on? Like I've got my phone cases there. Are they ear thing? So yeah, it's all a big mess. I don't even like that plant there anymore. I'm just going to give it a massive makeover. This is my wardrobe. Like it's not too bad. Like I do actually use it for hanging up clothes and stuff. I use these for when I'm doing like try on hauls as well as these. So they don't really get used, but all of this stuff is like just old stuff that I've either worn and like that doesn't fit in my wardrobe. And then over here is most of the clothes that I brought with me to um, from the Gold Coast. So like my coats and stuff and just like jumpers that I didn't want to throw away. But yeah, like honestly, I forgot I had those. Um, and then in there is just makeup that I'm going to either donate or yeah probably don't I or just give away to someone I'm not sure but yeah it's just a hot mess up there what's in that oh I forgot that I actually need one of those I've bought like 50 of these before I moved to Perth they're the best like sponge and brush cleaners ever so I'm gonna use that to deep clean my brushes and my sponges but yeah, I'm going to give like all of my rooms a makeover. And if that means throwing out half the shit, that means throwing out half the shit because it's just so hard to like come in this room and be creative. And, like, especially because it's like my makeup room. Like, I just don't feel like filming or like doing my makeup when my makeup room looks like this. Um, so yeah, that's my goal for the next two weeks. I think I'm going to tackle my, um, this room first just because... I need to still pack orders and I wasn't going to pack orders until my test results came back just to be sure. I know I don't have COVID, but yeah, I just didn't want to, um, you know, start packing orders and not knowing. So yeah, I got my test results back today actually, and I was tested negative, obviously. So yeah, um, I probably will start that tomorrow, but I want to like make the room up first before I start packing all of your boxing day sale orders. By the way, this is what I currently look like. My hair's oily AF. I need to wash it. My skin hasn't been the best. Um, basically, for the past three weeks, I've been having alcohol, especially cocktails every day, and sugar, and my skin do not go well. So, like, look at my face. It's so red and inflamed. Um, I did actually buy a bunch of skincare from Adore Beauty, actually. Um, because I've been listening to their podcast called Beauty IQ and I've just been purchasing from their like recommendations and stuff. I'm going to flip you guys around so you can see. But yeah, this is what my skin looks like right now. It's like the rest of my face is like perfect. Like I don't have anything. It's just here. Here and here is like my problematic areas. Um... And I have obviously like looked it up and it's to do with like my hormones and stuff. I've been off the pill officially for six months and obviously progressively since not taking the pill, my skin's gotten, I guess like worse and worse. Although some days it's okay. Some days it's just redness and I can cover it up with makeup and you can't even tell that this is underneath. Um, but yeah, I did pick up a bunch of new skincare and serums to try out from their recommendations. Um, so I got a bunch of ordinary products. I, I got some like acne, some like acne moisturizer that I read the reviews on and apparently it's incredible. And then I just bought some like ordinary serums that, um, seem to help people with skin like mine. But yeah, like look at my skin. Like it's never look like this like I still look very dewy very glowy um it's just here it's because I obviously still do take I actually didn't miss a day taking Genora when I was away um that's why my skin looks still like really glowy and radiant it's just down here but yeah I've just been like not wanting to like go on stories without makeup which is definitely unlike me um, just because I've never had this issue with my skin, but I think when isolation's over, I'm going to try and find a naturopath and see if they can recommend anything. Um, just because every single time I do post about my skin, lots of you guys say 
get a naturopath and see what they can do to help. So I'm definitely going to look into that after I can leave the house. Um, but for now, I'm just going to try, obviously, not have sugar. I don't usually have sugar, that's why. But I feel like it's flared up because of that. Like, I probably had sugar every single day. Cocktails have so much sugar in it. I obviously didn't watch what I, like, really ate. I had lots of desserts, like full sugar desserts and stuff like that. Not that I like regret it or anything. I was on holidays. I'm not like that. Like I want to have a good time. I don't want to be like constantly watching what I eat and stuff like that when I'm on holidays with my family and my friends. So I'm not like using that as an excuse. Um, but yeah, it just my skin. I'm really curious to see what my skin is going to look like at the like in like two weeks time from now, just from literally just cutting out all pretty much alcohol. Like I honestly think we drank every day. Like, even the days that we weren't on Hayman or staying at that resort, like, we'd go out for lunch and have a cocktail with um, lunch or, yeah, dinner would always be, like, wine or a cocktail. Like, we'd go out all the time and even, like, when we're at home with mum, we'd have wine or something. So, that obviously does contribute to my skin. Anyways, I just thought I'd be raw and real and show you guys what my skin is looking like so I'm super keen to see if these new products that I incorporate when I get them in my skincare routine help or if anyone has any recommendations please let me know um, but yeah it's just around here look at my hand fuck I need to really do that I actually might do that yeah I'll do that tonight I just try to procrastinate getting out of cleaning by taking off my tan trust um yeah also, my barker gave me these. She said she has them herself and she said they're amazing for cleaning her jewelry. She's got so much gold jewelry. Um, and these, she said, are incredible. And I actually wish I um, showed you guys yesterday, but I was just so excited. I put a silver piece. It was like a sample from ages ago. So yeah, I had a piece of like a silver charm from ages ago. And by the way, your silver pieces don't need to tarnish just from you wearing them underwater. They can actually just tarnish by just having them in your jewelry box or like in with the rest of your jewelry. It's a very sensitive metal. So um, usually like jewelry cleaners like this, we've got one on the website. It's a white one. It looks like this. Um, they work really well to just take off that surface, like black surface tarnish. So that's what ours look like. They're just white. Um, it's actually really satisfying to clean, by the way. But for those really stubborn um, pieces of jewelry that you have that you've like just had for eight, for years and years and years that have gone, let me see if I've got one. One sec. Okay, let's experiment with this. This is not mine. This is just like an old piece of jewelry. It's sterling silver. I haven't worn it obviously in years. I don't really wear silver anymore. But as you can see, it looks really dark. Let me see if I can. Um zoom in can't really tell oh my god my tan on my fingers are so gross okay let's put it in the silver cleaner it only has to be in there for like a minute i'm not even joking you okay so you can see it's like very dark it's a bit gross so you chuck it in and it does its thing just leave it in there for 30 seconds or whatever and it it literally comes out sparkling like i was actually let me try and find the charm that okay this is the charm this was pretty much black like it was literally black and look how shiny it is I honestly wish I showed you guys so actually I'm gonna see if I've got another one hmm okay that one doesn't really look black maybe this one let's try this one okay this one's not too black but like okay compared to that that is black let's chuck it in even this one it's got a little bit of like tarnish on it. Usually like this would just come off with one of those cloths just because I haven't worn it. I'll chuck them in and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I think the other one would be ready. So let me just do this. Oh my God, look, that was literally black. Well, it wasn't black, like black, black. Where is it? Look at the difference. Look at the difference like it's actually sparkling so yeah i'm not sure what shop she got it from she got it in store somewhere but like i'm sure if you look up that brand online like if you've got jewelry that you haven't worn in years and you just probably wouldn't because they are tarnishing definitely 
get one of these. Honestly, I'll take the other ones out now because I'll be ready. But like you saw the befores. Okay, ready? I'll take them out now. Okay, I've just taken these two out. can definitely tell a difference in this one. This one had like speckled tarnish on it. Can you kind of see that? Yeah, so how cool is that? And then this one as well, it's like sparkling. And that's the other side of it as well. So yeah, definitely, definitely recommend getting one of these. This one's for gold, this one's for silver. So I've literally just putting, like I've just been putting in like all of my old jewelry um, and it comes out incredible. So definitely recommend, I thought I would share. Um, I'll see if I can find one like black, black in my room and I'll test it for you guys on camera. So our Woolies order arrived. I'll show you guys briefly what we got. We just got a bunch of veggies because obviously we don't have any in the fridge. Capsicum bananas, broccolini, some strawberries, onions, these because I'm obsessed, some country life bread, eggs, some wraps and pizza bases. I'm not sure what I'll be making, but I did look through some of these books from skinny mixes that I received before I left for the Thermi. So um, yeah, I like flagged some recipes and I bought the ingredients for them. So I got some chicken thigh, um, lamb mince, some cheese, feta, and I needed all of these um, little herbs and spices and stuff like that. I don't have any of these. Tomato paste, lemon juice, What's that? Coconut cream, celery salt, Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, some cream. How small is this half of a cauliflower? <laughs> like what? Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that we got. Okay, so I'm gonna make a meal from the Skinny Mixes cookbook that I got before we left to Queensland. I showed this on my story. I don't think I showed it on my vlog. Um, but yeah, so she does cookbooks for thermo mixes and she does like, like all of her recipes can be switched to low carb paleo, super skinny, vegetarian, etc. So I'm just going to make it like in between low carb and super skinny because I won't use the olive oil, but I will still use the garlic, like fresh garlic because it just tastes so much better than garlic powder. Then I'll substitute the corn flour, which makes it thicker to xanthan gum, which I have. So they're all my ingredients. I don't actually have like most of these spices. So I don't have sweet paprika. I've got smoked paprika. I don't have parsley or actually, I think I do have oregano somewhere. I won't be putting chili flakes in. Obviously got pepper and salt, but I'm just gonna use some of the spices that I already have. So I've just got like garlic and herb. Um, there's herbamir. Um, and I've got heaps of other spices that I might chuck in. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to basically follow this, add garlic to mixer bowl, chop for five secs on speed five, MC on, and then scrape the mixer bowl down. So I've got my garlic there, chop it in, and then it says for five seconds on speed five. That's done. And then I'll just scrape that down. Okay, so I ended up putting all the ingredients in. So I added the cream, the spices, um, water. I added some baguette because it's amazing. Chicken stock cube. Put it in here all together. I wasn't sure if I should have put the chicken in, but it said the rest of the ingredients. And I actually messaged her and I was like, just making sure I don't need a slow cooker. And she's like, no, no, no. That's just if you have a slow cooker, you can like cook it with that option. But um, yeah, so I literally just put it all in on like 15 minutes. And that's what it looks like. Doesn't look too 
yum. But I also, um, oh, that's thickened up really nicely. I use xanthan gum to thicken it up instead of the corn flour. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before. I get all of this stuff from iHerb. So I got this from iHerb, all of these Simply Organic Spices from iHerb. I've got a code as well if you want to use it and have a look. They've got heaps of stuff like this. I don't know if that's from iHerb as well, but you can get that from Coles now or Woolworths. But yeah, um, so yeah, that thickened it up really nicely. I might just try a bit of chicken first to see, but I think it looks pretty cool. But how freaking good. I'm going to heat up some rice. I'll show you guys which rice I use because I always get asked. So this is the Uncle Ben's rice. You put it in the microwave for 60 seconds. You just tear a little... Um, slit and these are the macros which are pretty good for like a you know flavored rice um and compared to like just plain rice it's got pretty good macros as in cal wise so yeah highly recommend these they are a bit expensive but they do go on sale a lot i think for like two it's about five dollars but um yeah it's just really quick and easy because you can just heat that up in the microwave so i'm going to add that with some of the creamy garlic chicken just realized I didn't even show you an after, but that's pretty much what it looked like. I did film a story though. Hold on. I don't have to go through it all. Where is it? That's what it looks like. And then... Yum. Hey guys, so I haven't updated you since lunch. So I probably would rate that meal five out of 10. I think I added too much xanthan gum. It made it like gluggy. I feel like I should have just left, left it how it was. I added like a pinch in. I didn't really let it set, but like I was like, oh, that looks too runny. And then I kept adding more and it just made it like gluggy. And it just kind of made the consistency a bit like off putting, but the flavor was nice. Like I did like the dish. I just wish I didn't add the xanthan gum so if you do add xanthan gum in to thicken it up just add literally a pinch um, i did do a little hit workout i just followed a youtube video i just literally typed in at home hit workout um, and i just clicked the first one i think it was from pop sugar or something so i did a little workout i'm just wearing my cara lee bike shorts actually no these are the midi shorts and then this is one of my stacks collections tanks um, I'm just about to go jump in the shower, but I thought I would end this vlog here. I think I'm going to make something else in the thermo, but I might just post it on my stories, but I'll let you guys know tomorrow if it turned out okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Next week, I will be literally organizing and cleaning my whole entire house. I'm so excited to start on the rooms and then obviously start packing your orders. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and I will see you next week. Bye.